Hello there, my next guest on your biggest and brightest breakfast show never allowed his rough upbringing to rob his dream. Started from the bottom, he's now a singer, performer, producer, but also his own boss, hashtag CEO. Africa, let's meet Muhao. Hey, Muhao, how are you? Hello, how are you, man? Pleasure talking to you. Yeah, thank you so much. I love much. the fact that you're on your, your own boss. It has been a dream of mine, a friend of mine, we thought about this thing and then we decided, you know what, we are good, you know, every time when we've been employed everywhere, we've been told that we're the best employees, mm -hmm. and then we thought, oh, no, why can we not be the best bosses ourselves, yeah. and then we started a production company called Free Melo Pictures, which aims at preserving South African history, especially uh, uh, political history of the contribution of young people 1976 up until now, and it has been a wonderful journey, I should say. Wow, yeah. but you had it rough when you were growing up. Tell me more about that. Uh, born from the outskirts of this state, uh, in a small town called Kalabucha. Mm -hmm. I'm a last born of a, a, a mother called Rosalind Simelele, a mentally disturbed mother, but that did not deter me. You know, it's a very difficult place. What you see me here, it's not a reflection of where I come from, but it is actually the ingredient of where I come from. Wow. Uh, very tough, uh, from a family of predominantly people who are mentally disabled, uh, but I've managed to find a way. Media, uh, it's not a, a, a type of choice where it's available in free state. So I definitely had to come out and dream we can come to this city. So it was from a rough town, but I could say that it made me to be ready for the big city and I'm definitely roughing it now. I appreciate that energy and I appreciate the determination to say, look, I'm going strong and I'm going places. But I want to know, what kept you alive? What kept you together to say, look, this is something that I want to do and then I can achieve it? You know, I tell you, there are people who go to school and study excellence, and there are people who actually are born with it. I think um, the one who was you born, were with, born it. with it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, there were times where I was, I was sitting, I was sleeping at my grandmother's shack, and I could not bring myself to sleep. You know, I could not even see what, what tomorrow was holding for me because I always saw myself as this huge influential individual. You know, I had this particular dream where it was so real that I saw myself in stage and a lot of people were actually shouting. And at a time I was actually enrolled for a bachelor's of business administration and I could, under I, I could not understand or how come with people so much shouting and cheering for a person who is doing BBA degree. That's when I actually moved forward and actually decided to study music where I majored in jazz, which is 2004. Okay. Uh, and I moved forward and I studied performing arts and I moved forward again and studied television production. Wow. Yeah, it's because each and everything that I felt that I had passion on, I felt that I needed to impart a, a more educational formality into it so that I could add value into it. Beautiful. Now, Mohao, let's touch on the aspect of arts because that's also what you really involved with. Everything about you is about art and art and art. Yeah. Tell me more about the things that you're involved in. Um, uh, arts, from where, where I come from, the, you know, the small beginnings where I come from, I used to start groups, groups, groups. This one will not succeed groups. But I, I, I'm proud to say I'm the uh, the results of one of those groups, you know, I'm standing here knowing that one of those groups are um, actually the results and the, 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 the fruit of, of those groups. Uh, I have written a play that has been selected to go to a market theatre community called The Plate, okay. uh, which was and then which was also selected further to Zwagala, I think it was in 1998 when I was doing performing arts. And I'm passionate about it. I'm a performing, uh, I'm a poet, I'm a poet, slam poet also. Wow, you, know, so you I'm do everything. Over. The moment I realized I could walk, I knew I could fly. <laughs> you know, I, I took it from there. And to becoming an award-winning uh, documentary producer? Yes. This happened in 2009 when I was actually a beneficiary of uh, an advisory from the Department of, uh, Department of Communication in an institution called NEMISA, National Electronic Media Institute of South Africa. Uh, while other students were busy submitting homeworks, I went out and searched for industry events, you know, and I pitched to my head that I, I had the idea and I, you know, created a documentary called Josie Maboneng which we submitted for MTN City Festival Award. And before you know it, Bob was your uncle. I won the wow, award. Wow, congrats. Yeah, the only award for a television student in Nemisa in its history. Beautiful. I yeah. think you've made uh, Free Street proud. I would like to think so, but there's still more <laughs> to have, be done. You have, yeah, you have. Yeah, there's still more to be done. And also you're a brand ambassador for Love Life. Uh, this was truly uh, an honor uh, when uh, Naganjani, uh, Love Life had a project called Naganjani. Actually, this was a project where... It's Naganjani it's, literally means... No matter... No matter what. what. Exactly. It okay. seeks to go out and inspire young people that no matter the circumstances where you come from, 
be it like me, who, uh, a person who is mother is mentally disturbed, whose family is actually uh, taken for granted where they come from. You can go out and be the diamond and shine for the whole free state. And look at me, I'm talking to the rest of Africa today with you, and it has been a dream, and I'm living it today. I'm sure it you know, is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Tell me, what makes you stand out amongst the rest of people from free state who are trying to push whenever it comes to their game? I got to a point of self-realization. That's the best discovery a man could ever done. I have realized that I'm worth, what is it that I'm worth, and I've realized that I'm the best. I'm the best in writing, I'm the best in speaking, and I can tell you right now that the way you're feeling, it's much different than the way you saw me when working here. I'm the best in everything. So I knew. The moment I realized that, that's when I started flying. Wow. In terms of music, what are you currently working on? Uh, wonderful music has been a passion of mine for quite some time. Uh, and a partner of mine, Ayanda Ntuli, who uh, in Primelo, uh, talked to me saying, you know, since now you are working for an international broadcaster and you're putting all these type of shows on air, why don't you go back and search for those clips, you know? And then let, let's do something. And uh, we went back and searched for those clips and I have released two hot tunes. Uh, <laughs> I love party. the way you're putting them hot tunes. No, it's hot. Really, really. <laughs> well, coming from you, obviously, because everything that you touch is magical. De definitely. You know, what is called Sikam Kukela Fatsi, direct translation. What does that mean? Me, don't take me for granted. Okay. Yeah, so people shouldn't take people for granted. Uh, I feel at the moment you take Mohau for granted, you actually do not know who you're dealing with. <laughs> You know, yeah. I'm gold. Yeah. You know, I'm definitely gold. Yeah. No lie about that. No, the other I, one is, I, I yeah, believe you. Yeah, the, the other one is called Koko Taka Hamure, meaning that I'm knocking in the industry with the hammer. I'm tired of being soft now. I'm tired of begging. Wow. You know, I knock. If you don't knock, the hammer is on your head. I move forward. Okay. Yeah. What are some of the things that stick to you when you look at life in general? I am a great fan of humanity Ubuntu. <laughs> you know, I come from a place where it is... It, 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 it's a value to be humble. You know, you need to be able to understand to work to with a person who is down there, who is working at a farm, because I've worked at a farm, uh, at a potato farm myself, and be able to walk uh, and talk with the president, and be able to interact with you seamlessly and smoothly with the president of Good Morning Africa like this. So, I mean, for me, I value humbleness, I value respect, I value time, and I'm a very punctual spirit. Beautiful. Yeah. What is the one thing that you love about Africa? Oh, Africa, Africa home. I love the fact that this is where life began. I love the fact that we are the original. I love the fact that uh, everything starts here and everything will continue here. And it's only when Africans believe and realize that here, yeah, we don't need everything. Gold is here, diamond is here, gold is here. I don't know why is it, why we not even owning all those resources. So I, I love the fact that everything starts here and then Africa is original. I tell you what, yeah. you're not only inspiration to me, to yourself, but also to the many viewers that are watching us right now. What is really the message that you summon up to say, look, if you're looking at life, these are the things that you kind of have to look at. Uh, whether you want to be on top of your game, whether you want to do this, how really do you uh, package this message to say, look, it has to have an impact? Me and my partner have one simple motto. Go out and get what you want and come back with it. Wow. Go out and get what you want and, and come, come back, back with, with it. it. How best can people get in touch with you? The best way to get in touch with Mohau is to go to Facebook, Mohau Kwebu, M-O-H-A-U, K-W-E-B-U, and then I flag the social media, you know, the, the free mail of pictures. Our company is there, Mohau. Each and everything that I do, the pictures, and even when I wake up, I'm there. I keep on inspiring young people, so that's where you can find me. Wow, thank you so very much for coming thank through. Thank you so much. Wishing you the very best. Thank you so much. I'm sure we'll see more stars and more stars and shining and shining, and the diamonds coming through. Without a doubt. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Right here on Good Morning Africa. Of course, go out there and get what you want and come back with it. Wow, yeah. what can I say? Till next time, from me, Derek, it's goodbye for now. Kibefwadi <laughs> 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 <laugh